I'm Kevin! My name is Kevin! Oh. Kevin Ashford, that is. My name's Kevin Ashford. I'm the brewmaster at Figaro Mountain Brewing Company. So Scotty and I first met actually uh, at Great American Beer Festival this past year. We were sitting on a judge's table together. I happened to be on a table with Kevin, who I hadn't really met before, and Evan Price, who I know, who I know very well. Evan Price from Green Cheek was at the table, and he kind of started bragging about me. So tell Scotty how many of these medals you've won for your beers. Scotty and I started talking and we, we had a beer together and just kind of spiraled from there. This particular collab came about, uh, we knew we wanted Balter to be present at our lager festival, Lagerville. I hit Kev up to see if, while we're over here pouring beer, if we could make uh, a beer together. Scotty proposed that we brew a beer together. I had availability, I had a lot of ingredients I've been wanting to use for a little bit. And yeah, he was really excited too, which was great. So um, here we are. Well, there's a lot of hops in here. <laughs> um, so this is the Laurel, that's from Tributary. This is the Peralt Simcoe, we just opened it. Let's just get these out real quick. Yeah, here's the Mott Laurel. I'm just gonna keep stacking you up. <laughs> this will get us a long way. Uh, Scott has a very thorough understanding of hops and hop profiles, especially Southern Hemisphere and uh, North American uh, hops coming out of Oregon, Washington, Idaho. I think you know, Kevin's precision in making great, clean, Pilsners and other lager style beers is a, is a massive asset here. I think it's a natural combination of the two of us is exceptional hop knowledge and what I like to think I understand is, is good lager beers. West Coast Pils, Santa Barbara Pils. How about that? I like that. Santa Barbara Pils uh, with uh, some dusting of some Southern Hemisphere hops. Something that's really been taking off, especially in California, is a new like contemporary West Coast style Pilsner. And it's really a nice clean lager base, not too much going on as far as the malt, but the hops are really dynamic and extremely aromatic, very flavorful. There's a good clean bitterness associated as well. So I think it's like, if you look at the uh, contemporary pale ales that are happening in America right now, it's like the lager version of that. I just thought it, it was the most obvious thing to do with such a great lager brewer was to make a, you know, what I expect folks would see is a very, very modern beer. I've been calling the second coming of Pilsons for about 10 years now and I've realised the only way to do it is if we push the barrel ourselves. We've got to get in there and make beers like that relevant. We're going to get right in there and make it Pilsner for 2023. We're going to be using some laurel uh, from the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's got like a really nice kind of vibrant citrus character with some underlying uh, peach and apricot tones to it as well. So we've got some Mochueka from New Zealand from Revolution Hops we're going to use. Uh, when we tie that in with, with some laurel and probably some more mosaic, I'm just really looking forward to see how this combo goes. Here's a wrap. We've uh, punched it out with a lot of help from PJ up here. Absolutely. This is the uh, first iteration of our third limited for the year. It's gonna be a delectable yeah. West Coast Pills with my buddy Kevin here. This is mouth holiday beer number three for 2023. Couldn't be happier to be doing it with this guy. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, Looking forward to it. Ready for your mouth holes in October. <laughs> so hopefully in a few weeks time, we can actually get to taste the results and uh, see if we've uh, done a good job of it. So Scotty and I brewed this beer back in April. Uh, it's Scott's first time tasting this beer and we're so thrilled. I think it turned out really well. Scott, what do you think? Uh, mate, you know, you've got two 
two old goons who've been around the block a couple of times, so we're always going to hopefully get it up the fairway. I think we've actually popped this one on the green. So when are we going to brew this again? Brewing this again late August. We're going to make this little beer, put it to sleep for a little while, and, and we'll uh, share it with everybody in, in October. It's super gratifying to be able to have made this beer with you a month ago, six weeks ago. Come back here, have the beer, calibrate ourselves, go, yeah, we can we can totally do this again. We might even just snick it up. Just Turn it up bit. just a bit. And that's that's for everybody's benefit. <laughs> Can't wait to see you down there, buddy. You too, buddy. Cheers. See you, folks. Just was on a very, very long travel, as you can imagine, coming from California to lovely Australia. It was about uh, 14 hours plus. Um, so thankful to be here, here with my be my best friend now, Scott at Balter, holding this lovely West Coast style Pilsner. And I'm sorry, but I, I can't wait any longer. I, I just have to open it, if that's okay. You do it. All right. You traveled a long way, mate. Is your right obligation. It's all worth it. It's all worth it. This is unbelievable. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks for coming so far. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, this is the beginning. Love it.